They're never too big to be lap dogs. Hello everyone, and welcome to Day 19 of Vita. My name, of course, is Artemidge, and today we're just going to talk about what I'm doing after Vita. Now, as I said, creating daily content is a bit of a strain, so we're not going to be doing that until next April. What we are going to be doing is looking ahead to things that I have wanted to do before and have gotten off the ground but stalled for various means. For example, something that some of you may be aware of I do annually is the Extra Life Charity Marathon. Now my hospital of choice is McMaster Children's Hospital here in Hamilton, Ontario, as opposed to something more popular like the Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto. The reason for that is what I do here. What this channel is about is gaming and mental health, and McMaster does have a juvenile psychiatric ward, so fits right in line with what we do here, and absolutely, children need this help early so that they can make it easier on them going forward. It's never easy, but the sooner you figure out how to handle it, the easier it is. Otherwise, we're going to see things like some Let's Play videos and live streams, and eventually it'll also be breaking into a podcast. Along with that, I intend some reviews that I think are kind of overlooked, or I think I might have something unique to offer. It won't be the common stuff such as AAA big releases. It'll be things like the hidden gems you find on Steam in the indie section, or the board games, or miniatures games uh, rule sets that I get into. Now, absolutely, there is channels out there that do touch on board games, such as Shut Up and Sit Down, The Dice Tower, you have podcasts like the D6 Generation, the Dice Tower is also a podcast, and formerly Board Games with Scott. Now other content that's going to be continuing on here will be more informative. We'll take deeper looks at mental health conditions, treatment options, coping mechanisms. Now absolutely, I want this channel to be a positive thing, and a place where people can feel welcome to participate, and discuss, and become informed. But mental health is not entirely a positive experience, and we're going to have to touch on some things like we have with some of these Vita videos that could be problematic, to say the least. And I encourage you to use your own discretion on if you can handle a topic or not, but I can promise you that I'm not going to take something down that I've done unless I personally feel that there's issue with it, such as incorrect information, or such as incorrect information, accidental marginalization. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure everyone who goes through these issues feels welcome, but we can't go at this all pillow fisted. Now along with my Extra Life Marathons, I'd like to give back to the mental health community a little more directly, so I'm going to come up with some ways that we can raise money not only through Extra Life, but through my own endeavors for Cam H, the Canadian the Center for Addictions and Mental Health here in Canada. We might find ideas such as doing painting marathons as opposed to an extra life gaming marathon. I sit there and paint for 24 hours. We might dedicate things to say an entire day of rock band where I get six or eight other people and we sit there and go through as many songs as we can, as many times as we can, until we can almost perfect performance. Don't expect quality on that day. But also, I want to provide content you want. So I want you to go down in the comments and tell me some things that you'd like to see. And maybe you want to get participating with me as well. I'd absolutely welcome that. So everyone, take care of yourselves and each other. And I will talk to you tomorrow.